Right, so once you have the live server extension installed, you want to go to w3schools.com slash html. Let me actually maximize that. So go to w3schools slash w3schools.com slash html. And what you want to do is uh, you want to copy that. This is known as a HTML boilerplate. Uh, going to explain it to you just now what it means. All right, so this is... Uh, this is HTML, the language that is used to build websites. And the first line of code here tells the browser, kind of tells the system all right, that, all right, this is a web page. So that when you open this file, uh, the browser should interpret it as a web page. All right. And then this body tag, these things are called tags, by the way. This body tags, uh, tags, uh, means that everything that's between these body tags is what will be shown is what will be shown to the user all right uh, so everything that we punch in here is what the user will see all right now that we have copied and pasted this the html boilerplate you want to open the index.html file with live server uh, now you'll notice that every time we make changes uh, in this in this size, let's call it our website. Let's stop calling it file, right? Because it's a web page. Let's call it our first website. So every time we make changes now to our website, you you'll see that they will reflect without having to refresh the browser. All right, all right. So let's just put uh, back in. Welcome to Facebook. All right, see, it just refresh instantly. So that is the live server extension. It lets you code and your changes will uh, reflect on the browser without you having to refresh the browser.